So we are wrapping up our second week of remote instruction at Cairn University. And uh, I've been very encouraged by the way the students and faculty and staff have responded and uh, I think it's going well. But uh, I'm also mindful that there are challenges that come with uh, the way that we're being required to live our lives now in the current situation that we find ourselves in. And I've had some really great <clears throat> conversations this last week with some students as well as some recent graduates uh, who've encouraged me uh, to think about putting together some video content uh, that would uh, address some specific issues that might be practical and helpful in uh, managing and coping uh, under these current conditions. And uh, so I hope to do that. Um, I uh, hope that uh, um, they will be helpful. Uh, they are really subjects that I've dealt with uh, with our students for years, both in and out of the classroom. And uh, I think that now though, uh, the way that we're uh, being required to live, it might have a little more context and uh, perhaps a little more meaning than uh, when things were a little more normal. In fact, the thing I wanna talk about today is the issue of structure and patterns. And that issue of normal is uh, key in uh, thinking about that whole issue. You know, I was uh, reading some things today where people are uh, referring to this as the new norm, and uh, I, I hope not. Uh, I'm praying that this is a temporary norm um, and that uh, things will uh, settle down and will return to uh, a way of life that is more similar to what we were accustomed to prior to COVID-19. But that's what we want. We want to things to be predictable and consistent. In fact, uh, recently <clears throat> I was watching the news uh, with a psychologist being interviewed about the impact of school closures on students. And one of the things that she said, and quite astutely, is that what students need is structure and routine and consistency. And yet, with the closure of schools, uh, for many students, uh, that was a place where they had all of those things, and now that's changed. And while she was speaking specifically to the K-12 world, uh, it certainly applies to higher education, and in my view, applies to all of us, because we are creatures of pattern. Uh, we uh, have a way of life that we become accustomed to and that we get comfortable with. And all of that's been upended. Uh, our entire lives have been uh, upended. And we're so disjointed now and isolated in so many ways and having to use new tools and uh, new, new ways of connecting and interacting with one another. And there seems to be very little that is consistent and predictable, particularly with the fluidity of the situation and uh, things changing and uh, recommendations and guidelines that are constantly in flux and not knowing when this might end. And so let me offer just a few thoughts about the importance of finding some degree of structure and being mindful of patterns that we set. You know, uh, it's not uh, that difficult to think about how this works in our lives. Uh, we find ourselves all of a sudden uh, in a world where we're taking classes remotely and we don't have the same social structures and we're not with our friends and our routines aren't there and we're not able to go to the gym or the fitness center and we're not able to get together in social settings and not able to attend meetings and for some of us not even able to attend worship services. All the things that are part of the structure of our lives have changed and what happens to us is in the absence of that structure we find ourselves a bit adrift and that's a dangerous place to be because what happens is we find ourselves falling into a pattern of behaviors without really thinking about it without really being intentional that's the danger of drift you didn't get there on purpose uh, and the problem with it is once you find yourself in some place you don't want to be and you didn't really pay attention and all of a sudden you're there uh, it takes an awful lot of work to get back and i think that that's evidenced in the way that uh, we manage and experience habits as human beings. You know, uh, good habits are very hard to develop and very easy to break. And bad habits are very easy to develop and very hard to break. And the reason for that is we gravitate towards those convenient patterns that we fall into. When we have to actually focus and pay attention and put intentionality into something, it becomes more effort. And my concern is I've talked to students and uh, friends and alum and parents of students and folks who have uh, uh, maybe a more crowded house or apartment than they had in the past is uh, that we find ourselves drifting into patterns, even with regard to practical things like sleep. You know, uh, uh, it is a very important thing for us to be regular in our sleep as best we can to go to bed at a 
regular time, a relatively regular time, uh, and wake up at a relatively regular time. Now, for college students, you know, that is hard to do because you have assignments and you plug away one night deep into the night. But what you have to be careful of is that you find yourself uh, staying awake, watching uh, movies or television shows, or you're streaming something, you're binge watching, or you're gaming, and all of a sudden you look up and it's 3 a.m. and you go to bed and you decide, well, I can sleep in tomorrow. Uh, it's like a snow day, and so you sleep till noon. The problem is this isn't a snow day. It's not even three snow days. This is going to be weeks and weeks of this uh, approach to living. And so we need to be disciplined about sleep. Our bodies require rest, and we need to be consistent. And I used to share with students in my psychology class all the time the importance of being careful about your sleep cycles. We sleep in 90-minute cycles. We need to sleep in in uh, blocks of time that are in 90-minute cycles, 90 minutes, three hours, and so on. Uh, and taking hour-long naps slows your systems down, slows your brain down. If you're going to nap, if you feel the need to do it, don't blow an afternoon with a two-hour nap. Stick to the structures of a 20, 25-minute power nap and get a good night's sleep, six to eight hours, a little bit more if you need it. But try to go to bed around the same time. Try to wake up around the same time. Try to bring some structure to your lives. Try to establish some patterns. Uh, take a walk at a regular time every day. You can't get to the gym or you can't go to a fitness center. You don't have home equipment. Uh, take a walk around the house. Take a walk around the block. Go out and do the steps in the apartment building. Something on a regular basis to create some structure. Find some ways to develop patterns of socializing and develop some fun. Those are the things that we're missing. And apart from those structures and that consistency, we will still drift into patterns. But those patterns might not always be the best for us. And that's my caution to all of us is that we be mindful that we are creatures of pattern. We drift into patterns, but let's not drift into patterns that are to our detriment. We have responsibilities to carry out. We have people to encourage. We have things that we can be doing to make the most of the time that we've been given, even in the midst of this crisis. And so I would just encourage you to be intentional about the way you live, about the way your life is structured, uh, even in the midst of the unstructured way in which we're living right now, that you would bring some consistency to your lives, even in the midst of inconsistent days, that you would develop some routines when nothing in the world around us is routine these days. It's important to do so. It's important to be mindful of these things, to bring wisdom to bear on the way we live our lives, to not be pushed along by our circumstances, but to take responsibility and make good decisions and live on purpose. And uh, if, uh, if we can do that, I think we can manage the monotony and the idleness and the isolation a whole lot better. I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, I'm striving to bring uh, these principles to bear on my life every day and uh, would encourage you to do the same.